Let's look at the Salesforce homepage. The homepage is split into two different panes. Within each pane are components. So on the sidebar, create new and recent items are both components. On the right pane, calendar and my tasks are both components. The left pane is displayed on most screens, as you've probably seen. The right pane only on the home screen. There are a few standard components bundled with Salesforce. On the sidebar, you have create new and recent items, which we just saw. Messages and alerts can be used to display a message to users, for instance, a reminder that the office is closing early for a holiday. There are two ways to add links to the sidebar. The standard component will allow you to add links, but the same links will be displayed for all users. On the right pane, there are several options as well. I see that many users get a lot of value out of the dashboard component, which will display the top row of a dashboard of the user's choosing. Calendar and tasks are quite helpful as well. And if you have approval processes in your org, having approvals on the home page can be quite helpful. The difference between custom links and the standard links is that the custom links can be defined per profile instead of for all users. So if I wanted my sales and my marketing team to have a different set of links displayed, you have to use the custom components in order to do that. You can also add images or raw HTML. Your profile determines your homepage layout and your homepage layout determines which components are displayed and in what order. Also, quick note, there are two global user interface settings that impact the way that the sidebar works throughout Salesforce.